We move to the latest on the coronavirus. The state reporting 7,867 new cases of COVID-19. The average right now is at 3,933 cases per day. Sadly, we've lost 142 Michiganders, more Michiganders to the virus. That includes 66 from a review of vital records. Now, as the Pfizer vaccine for ages, uh, kids ages 5 to 11 moves closer to being authorized, a lot of parents, understandably, have a lot of questions. Seems like parents of 11-year-olds in particular have a very practical question. So we bring in Dr. Frank Me George with the answer here many people are looking for. This is that sort of wedge age kind of between uh, two protocols, Doc. That's exactly right, Devin. You know, the most common question that I've received in the last week is essentially, if my child is 11 right now, but will be 12 soon, should I get them vaccinated right away at the lower dose for five to 11 year olds or wait so they can get the higher dose vaccine when they turn 12? Well, here is some insight from yesterday's FDA advisory panel meeting with the question being asked by Dr. Paul Offit. One of the questions that's already starting to come up um, were if this were to be um, authorized, this vaccine were to be authorized from parents, say, of children who are 11 years old, they've been asking, should we just wait till they're 12 and get the bigger, the larger dose? The answer from Dr. William Gruber of Pfizer was somewhat technical, but it focused on this slide that shows the increase in antibody levels before and after vaccination with the lower dose specifically for 5 to 11 year olds. You can see that the increase in antibody levels in 5 to 6 year olds was the same as the increase seen in 9 to 11 year olds. This suggests the lower dose would therefore be equally effective in 12 year olds. Now this additional slide also from Pfizer shows that the lower 5 to 11 year old dose increases antibody levels as well as the higher dose given to those 12 years and older, further suggesting there is no additional benefit to waiting to qualify for the higher dose. Now that's the long technical answer. The simple bottom line is that there is no reason to wait to get the vaccine if a child is about to turn 12. Either dose will be just as effective in a 12 year old. Of course, that does bring up another logical question, which was asked by committee chair Dr. Arnold Monto of the University of Michigan. What would happen if you gave a lower dose to, uh, to a 12-year-old? There is the potential, although we don't have the data to show it, uh, for a 10 microgram dose uh, to provide um, antibody response, and we have uh, some possibility of looking at that in the future. Now, in reality, you're going to be given whichever dose is recommended based on your child's age. But one potential benefit to getting the lower dose is that it appears to offer the best balance between generating antibodies while potentially reducing side effects with the lower dose. Fred, do we know why 12 is the dividing line? Uh, would it, uh, some have wondered if it would make more sense if it was weight based instead of age based. Well, you know, that's a really important concept. Weight, of course, is really important when it comes to the dosage of drugs, but vaccines don't exactly work like that. It's really more about the response of the immune system. Mm. So in addition to being smaller in size, children's immune systems are more responsive. Now that does start to change as kids enter puberty and reach adulthood. Yeah. That dividing line at 12 is somewhat arbitrary, but you've got to put it somewhere, and 12 is roughly about puberty. Where it is at the moment. All right, Doc. All right, Doc.